Well, it's day two in Brescia and I'm told to gear up for a rough and rugged day as we head to Tignale. I'm right now at Parco Alto Garda, which means a park which is at a height at Lake Garda. Now, this is a very, very beautiful point. I stopped here. Uh, I was on my way to a village called Tanyale. Now, this is a very small village at Lake Garda. And this is very, very famous for its sporting activities. Now, that's what's lined up for the day. We're going to try some adventure sports. Uh, and I had to stop this at this point because this is one of the most beautiful views of Lake Garda. This view is simply breathtaking. And this is also a very, very prominent point in all of Europe for any sort of wind and kite surfing. That's what a lot of people down there are doing at this point. Hi. 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 Ciao. Ciao, Paola. Goro. Piacere. Ciao. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Ciao. Ciao. Piacere, Paola. Okay, so what's the plan for today now? Uh, today we are going to see a nice waterfall in Piovere. We are here in Tignale. Tignale, uh, there are about six small villages. Piovere is one of them. Okay. We are going for about uh, 20 minutes. We walk uh, just here. Yes. Okay. And then we are going to see the most beautiful waterfall that we have. All together there are seven waterfalls where many people do also canyoning. Many people also from outside come here especially to do okay. this kind of sport. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay. Let's, we'll follow you guys. Okay, come on. So in Tignale I meet Paola and Patrizia who are going to take me into the mountains, make me jump a couple of rocks, cross a little river and eventually end up under a waterfall. Hmm. I was told it's going to be a rough and rugged day. In the village of Tanyale, this is their biggest and most beautiful waterfall. And what you witness behind me is an unusual sport called canyoning. Out of the many adventure sports that happen here in Tignale, the most unusual of them all is canyoning. You know, when I first read about it, I thought it was canoeing, but it's a completely different sport. It's called canyoning. And look at the dress that they use for canyoning. Now, this is all protective gear because what they actually do is go to different uh, canyons, jump into the water, and then even, you know, uh, what do you call it when you tie a rope and go down? With, with the rope, the upsail, there is the back or front upsail is very enjoying because after the upsail you can jump or slide and a very beautiful particular uh, uh, adventure in the water. Okay, tell me one thing now, is this a very dangerous thing? Can someone just come and do it or you need to do some training before you can do this? Training, it's very important the training and uh, the school for the ca guide canyoning is very important because there is the, some particular uh, technique, technique for the upsail for the clans, like uh, clans. Okay, so thank you very much for talking thank to us. Much. All the very best. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. This is an entire team of guys who are trying canyoning here in Brescia and they've got a message for all of you. What is that? We, we get down in Brescia! So after that small trek of about 2 kilometers, I was a little bit tired and I needed my dose of energy. And my dose of energy comes from no energy drink. I need Khana. And that's where we're off to. Now it's lunchtime and I'm off to a restaurant called Osteria La Miniera. Now this is not a fancy restaurant, this is a very very typical restaurant of this village of Taniale in Brescia province in Italy. Now the reason why I'm showing you this restaurant is because this is a brand new concept that's spreading like wildfire in Italy. Um, now this is a zero kilometer restaurant. Now what does that mean? A zero kilometer restaurant is a restaurant which uses the entire produce within one kilometer of the restaurant. These guys are thinking on a completely different level uh, but I'm going to try this. People say that the taste and the flavors that you get in a zero kilometer restaurant are not comparable to anything else in the world. So I'm going to go in. This is a very, very typical family-run restaurant and I'm looking forward to a meal here. Mm -hmm. 
up through the hill a lush green garden an old wood kind of rusty look osteria la miniera if i may describe it is like a homely paradise an old mud house turned into a restaurant now for me this is the ideal place for family brunches hello people having their own cozy space spending time with family and enjoying wonderful hospitality of the restaurant apart from all this the main factor the food here is to die for freshly cooked meat with herbs tossed on it makes it just perfect simple yet delicious salute hey This is one of those shows where I don't want to take a break but what do I do this call is not mine we've got to take a break but when we come back I'll show you what more this beautiful province of Brescia has to offer <laughs>